You say hi? Say hi? You just woke up uh, like 30 seconds ago. My third attempt at making this video. First one went on about nothing. Second one, this guy woke up right as I started it and he was soaked. I had to change everything he was touching and all that fun stuff. Yay, cloth diapers! This is my third one. So happy Friday, people. This The first one, he was being really, really cute in, and now he's like all eating a turtle. That's making noise. You see Linky? Where's Linky? Yep, there's Linky. Can you say hi? hi. Do we pick our nose? Thank you. I love you. Love. <laughs> Anyways, I have high fashion as I always do with my awesome hair. And oh, can you go give him the turtle, buddy? Go give him his turtle. Or go give Linky his turtle. He's crying. He wants his turtle, and he pushed it away. Can you flip it up on the other side? Anyways, um, guys, I need to be better with my videos. I bet I would be a YouTube sensation by now if I had kept my videos going like I should have. But people make mistakes, people get lazy, but I will prevail because I know how to learn from my mistakes, I know how to learn from my laziness, and I will move on and be better. It doesn't take much to turn on the camera and point it at me and then upload it, so I shouldn't have any excuse. Oh buddy, can you give him a different toy? Go get him that car. The blue one. Anyways, I hope you guys, my American friends, had a fantastic fourth. Ours kind of uh, wasn't that great. Since it's like my one day off for my husband, and he got called into work. Hi, ah, yay! But I got to have a barbecue with some of my in-law family. And so that was cool. I went to bed early so I didn't see any fireworks, which is okay because fireworks scare the heck out of me. I don't know what is awesome about giant balls of fire shooting up into the air and exploding into beautiful colors. Okay, I think it is kind of awesome, but it's just too loud, too bright and colorful and festive. I mean, it'd be like black and white. What? You can go out in a minute, okay? I'm making a video. Shh. Shh. Well, I was just kidding, Royal. Come here. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope my American friends had a fantastic fourth. Uh, and Canadians friends, you just had your celebration of Canada Day just too, not too recently. I don't know if I have any friends from Canada. I don't think I've ever met a Canadian. They kind of scare me. I bet you guys are very nice and polite, moose-loving people in maple syrup, eh? Um, so, I need to be better at making these videos because my one video of the giant baby face in your face, sorry about that, my one video, my one panic caught on tape, panic attack caught on tape video has almost one million views. Zoom in for dramaticness. <laughs> My manual zoom. Eee! One million views. That's Fletchin Flabbergast billionaire. I just don't know what to say. That's crazy. And a lot of people are supportive. Some people are, a lot of people are asking for help and support, which I give to you. Love you guys. I really don't know the answers to these questions. I don't know how to make it stop. You just have to work through it. You have to figure out what's happening to you. Either write it out and let the nature take its course and eventually it will slow down and go away. Or figure out what's frustrating you, what's making you freak out, what's in your life. You get one life, dude. One life. And if you're not happy with it, you better change it because you just get one chance in this life. Uh. Except for people that uh. actually uh, get second chances in life. But most of us only get one chance at life. And we better make this count. And it's hard to make every day count. You shouldn't make like every day count, but 
the big moments, the big things and the little things count too. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know the answers. Oh, I'm not good at this. This is why I can never be this. Mama, I don't even know why I started this vlog because Mama, Papa, yeah, so many people ask me so many questions and send me these stories and I'm like, I want to help you, but I'm so scared to write back to you because I'm going to say something wrong and you're going to end up dying. It's just a lot to put on one person, so uh, if I don't reply to you, it's not because I don't like you. It's not because I don't, I don't do it like believe in you. It's like I just don't know the answers because everything, everything is so personal when it comes to anxiety. And so you're going to have to figure it out yourself, people. And I hate to say that because I really want to give you the answers. I want to be like, I'm going to write this book that has, stop touching my hand, that has all the answers. And I'm going to make a million dollars, and I'm also going to help a million people times ten million people, which is only seven million people. I'm going to save, like, more than this world has. Wait, billion. Wait, is it billion? Yeah, it's billion people. Oh, okay. I'm not going to make that much people happy. Then not that many people have that anxiety in either. Oh my gosh, this video is really turning into a rant of nothing. People. I love you. I love making these videos because I love hearing stories of success. I love hearing stories that you're kind of stuck in the middle of it, but I know on the other end, you're going to be like, okay, that really sucked, but I'm in a better place right now. You have to enjoy those highs because they don't come as often as you think. I don't know. I want to be like... I want to be optimistic, but I want to be realistic, so it's kind of like contra contradicting. Life has its ups and downs. We all know that. Life can suck really, really bad to the point where you're just like, I want out. And life can be really, really awesome to the point where you want to like make out with all the strangers in the whole wide world because you're just so happy. And then most of the time, it's like in between that. Or you have moments where you're really, really happy, and sometimes it's just like you're you can be down. Sometimes, you know, you, I mean, uh, you guys know this. You're human. You have feelings, and they come and go. It's not like this is a new thing. We all know that. And I have no secret. I have no huge story to share. I've had anxiety all my life that I can remember. I grew up in a stressful situation where both parents. I'm not going to even bat, beat about the bush. They fought a lot. My dad was aggressive, my mom was passive aggressive. It was just an environment which was a sensitive child like me, or like I was, I'm not a child anymore. Just, it wore on me and I didn't know how to deal with it, so it just built up and built up to anxiety. And as I grew up, more things happened and I just let it get to me. I've had abusive relationships, I've had you know, just crazy things happen to me. I've had great things happen to me. I'm a person. It just happens. I'm not things special. I'm just a person with anxiety and a camera. I really wish I had the answers to give to you guys. I really wish a lot of things. But one thing I don't wish is to have anxiety go away. I think there's a reason for everything. Depression, anxiety, even the yeah. good stuff in yeah. the worlds too. Yeah. There is a place and a time for all things. So I really wish, like, maybe I've said this before. <laughs> this is why I'm contradicting myself saying I wish there was an anxiety. I'm sure I've said that. It sounds like something I would say. But if you really think about it, anxiety does help in a way. It makes you start thinking about things that you'd never think about if you were happy all the time. And some of these things aren't pleasant, but it's part of being human, and I wouldn't trade it for a minute of happiness, honestly. Or a minute, or hey, leave him alone, he's playing with his binky, let him be. Or, don't you take his binky away, you take his happiness away, I'll take your fingers so you can't pick your nose. Stop picking your nose. Okay, I'm probably just not making any sense, I'm just really, no, I'm just bouncing off the walls. Hey. You have all those toys over there. He is happy with his binky. Leave him alone. I still have to be a mom on the video camera, too. So, guys, we're human. We have crappy times. We have happy times. We have happy, crappy times. But I enjoy being human. I enjoy the ups and downs. I really wish there was more ups, but 
it is my choice, it is your choice, you have this one life, and you need to make every, every experience, just enjoy it for what it is. Crappy times, good times, the times you're just like, eh, whatever, it's not like a huge thing or whatever, it's just like, it's just life. Enjoy all these moments. Because this is the life we have, we get to choose to either enjoy it or let everything just knock us over, which I have had for my 25 years of life, I've had every little bump in the road just knock me over. And I'm tired of that. So I really just want to enjoy life and it's not going to be easy. And I'm going to fail at it a lot. And I'm going to be like, I'll get to the point where I'm really failing at it a lot. And then I'll scrape myself up again and say, My bum mama. My bum mama. That's what I'll say. At least that's what my son says. I don't know what he's saying. But I totally just lost my point. Something about scraping myself up. That sounds like I'm making a cake. Cake is good. That's another part of life that's good. So just enjoy cake my, and life my, and good things my, and bad things and just enjoy being human. You have nightly anxiety attacks. I used to have nightly anxiety attacks. They don't happen anymore. Why? I don't know. I think I worked through a lot of things without really realizing it. I honestly, I should be keeping a journal so I really knew what changed in my life and what happened. But I think I just came to the point in my life where I'm just like, I was having anxiety attacks and I said no. Okay, I'll just hey. I told myself no. I'm done. This is my life. I'm not letting something that I feel like I have no control over be in my life. So I just, they just stop. Not like right away. And not like forever because it came back eventually and it comes back every now and then but you have to just assess yourself with, I, don't know the, I don't know words but you really just have to say this is my life and i can choose how i feel about it and feel the bad do it's part of being human but also know that there's always good on the other side and it's waiting there for you you're always waiting this video makes no sense. I've just been going on a tangent, but I like talking, so I'm going to keep on going. Let's see how long I've been talking. Holy crap, I've been talking 12 minutes. I'm going to let you guys go. Look, my baby's starting to crawl and do stuff. Look at him go. Whee! I'm so sorry I've been talking for almost 13 minutes about nothing. But for those who have been staying and listening to me the whole time, I will show you something awesome. Um... Lincoln, do a trick. Lincoln, do a trick. Lincoln, hi. Do a dance or something. Royal, go dance. Huh? Go dance. Go dance. Here, here, dance, dance, boy. There's your prize, guys. My toddler in his diaper, crying. Okay, say things will get better. Say it. Say things will get better. Okay. Can you say bye bye to YouTube? Bye bye to. Say YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Mwah. Oh, now you're looking at the floor. Okay. Bye. Bye. As I have a stroke. Things will get better. My toddler is awesome. My baby is adorable. I talk.